Lido Village, Vanamo, North Coast PNG. School's out and the kids are heading for their favourite break. They're members of one of the world's most unique surf clubs, with unquestionably some of the most unique boards. The only place on earth to surf with boards that have come straight out of the jungle. Where'd you get this fella? Mix you know, bus, big bus. Yeah? You cut him? Yourself or your brother or what? Myself. Yourself? You made all this one? Yes. Stephen Takway, a PNG surf champ and head of the Sunset Surf Club, is boss of this brood. They look pretty comfortable. You got some champs in there, you think? Yeah, I think so. Maybe a few years' time, these young kids will be champions. PNG champ. It's no surprise to Stephen that surfing comes naturally to these kids. He believes this village is where surfing began, on the sides of broken canoes. I can tell you that uh, surfing was here 100 years ago. When our canoes, the guard canoes, when they break up, these old people get this uh, half of the canoes, and then they start using as body boards and they start surfing. They surfed their planks but never stood up until an intrepid Australian surfer discovered this break in the 1990s. He, uh, he brought his surfboard up and he introduced this to our young boys. And then, so the boys started learning, there were a few boys who uh, tried it out first, and then the other ones, and then the plenty boys, and even the girls are here too. Standing up was a pretty cool idea, but with just one board to share, the kids soon tired of watching from the beach. We don't have enough boards, sub boards to supply to the kids. You know, this ones, they sit around the beach all the time and they, they don't have a chance, so they start cutting up these trees too make the surfboards for themselves. With only two fiberglass boards to the club's name, which are kept for competitions, Stephen treks into the jungle in search of another board. The hunt is on for the right tree known locally as a BD. It's bark used traditionally to make a type of clothing. This is it, This is the tree. Yeah. Our old people used to cut the skin to make tapa cloths for yeah. sing sings and traditional uh, rituals. Yeah. It's the right type of tree, but not good enough for the perfect board. It, this one is young. Yeah. Well, the big one, the biggest, the bigger the tree is, the, the thinner this. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. This is the right one that I described. This is the one that the boys, that. the kids cut out and they use as subwood. They build, they build, they make the subwood out of this one. Invented this, you know. Then somehow the, some of the kids went into the jungle and they said this could do a good suburb. So they cut it out and they tried it. They got it shaped out. Yeah. And then that's it. They tried it and it, it worked. And here we are. We, we got a factory, <laughs> <laughs> a natural suburb. <laughs> no resin. We got a raw material. No resin. No <laughs> no, no no foam. No whatever. It's straight out from the jungle. <laughs> Escali is the rising star of the Venamo surf scene. He's recently upgraded to a glass board to compete in the national championships, but he cut his teeth on bush boards like this one. All boys are safe. Me to look him and me to like safe, but it's a safe board. So me go cut him the bush come, hurry come, na cousin brother from me, I'm safe him, safe him finish now. Me carry go na go safe. We know that money will buy more than me. Save the this board. And now, uh, now you're a champion, huh? 
Ja. Hvad er det champion, og hvad? Ja, jeg er den one more champion. <laughs> You're the best. Yeah. What about Steven? You're better than Steven? Yeah, I'm better than Steven. You're better than Steven? Yeah. yeah. That's it. Who's going on? Okay. Ah, oh, the curve. There's a curve, yeah. That's yeah, the one I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the north of Malibu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You like it, Kelly? Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Let's go surfing. We'll, uh, we'll turn it around, we'll get the, the bottom skin out, and then we'll start shaping it properly now. It's been really quite amazing watching this board uh, emerge in just a few hours with some pretty simple uh, tools, mostly bush knives. But perhaps I shouldn't be surprised. These boys' fathers and their grandfathers, and for hundreds of years before them, were renowned as some of the best boat builders along this coast. Stephen Liner is one of the last canoe builders in the village. Fiberglass boats have dented his market, but his canoes are still in demand exported to clan members all along the coast. Canoe was, uh, it's a part of our life here. That's like uh, people from the inland, they need dogs to hunt and get their food. But we coastal people, we need canoe to go out fishing. People here, we love sea and we use all this. Uh, you see these kids, they play in the sea all the time and it's part of their life, yeah. I think. So whether it's canoes or surfboards so or... Canoe or surfboard, it's part of the life here in the village. Yeah. It's good, looking good. What do you think of the work? Yeah. They're doing a good job? Uh, well, they're doing a good job pretty good, it's not yet finished, but I think it's going to turn out to be okay. It's much harder to make a canoe, you reckon? Ah, this is simple. Canoe, making canoe, you have to master certain arts, how to dig and how to shape it, and that's it. And it needs uh, qualified, skilled people to do it. But these boys are pretty good, they're doing good, good shaping. Well, it's all right. It's so-so. Just yeah. all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The surfboard from Lido Village is nearing completion. Not finished until the traditional village markings are applied a centuries-old trademark for paddles and canoes. Something old, something new. This is our traditional uh, design for our village. This is a lizard head. And these two markings here represent the nostrils of a lizard. This one rep represents the eye. And this is, these are the ears of the lizard. And this is the, this is the tail. I think it looks fantastic. What do you uh, What do you think? You're the maker. I think it's it's nice. I like it because it tastes good. It's nose is good. It, the rail is thin, and it has a fin. And it also represents the old era and the new. Can I surf him? Oh, uh, not not at this uh, moment because it's uh, still new and it's still wet and heavy. Too heavy to surf, huh? Yeah. Well, that's a shame because I think people would have really liked to have uh, seen me surf this one today. Well, I would like to surf too, but I'm sorry it's still heavy and you can't surf too.
Another week for the sack to completely dry out of the board and the Sunset Surf Club will welcome its latest addition. Taking in snuff tins, I have this. And I take not tins. 